Hey, business family, how you doing today? This is Ricky Harris with Mind Body Apparel. We are a socially conscious design company based in Los Angeles. We design and sell fashion inspired accessories that build confidence and your self esteem among the inner city youth. Every time I sell an accessory, a percentage of it goes right back into a program called the ICE program. The ICE program is a business model that is aimed to inspire inner city youth to view entrepreneurship as an option and to teach them the skills required to become successful business owners. I stands for Inner City Entrepreneur, and you guys are now tuning in to uh, seeing the world through the eyes of a black entrepreneur. This is a platform where I uh, teach aspiring entrepreneurs how to perceive the world from a different perspective. Uh, not only uh, does my message uh, contain a positive message inside, but it also uh, will steer aspiring entrepreneurs closer to starting their own business. Um, and I wanted to get online real quick just to share some quick wisdom with you guys. Um, there are a lot of folks in the black community who want to start a business, right? Um, the first thing they do is they, they, they come up with an idea and they launch it. They literally go from zero to 60 in a matter of seconds. And sadly, they end up failing because they fail to realize that starting a business is a process of gaining knowledge. Now, what folks in the black community feel to realize is that they don't have that knowledge because they didn't grow up with an entrepreneurship mentor. Someone like a parent, uh, someone like an aunt, uncle, or neighbor who taught them the important lessons and rules of entrepreneurship. And because you did not grow up with that knowledge, you are what I call a grassroots entrepreneur. A grassroots entrepreneur is a type of entrepreneur who is starting a business with very little capital or guidance. Okay. So here's the thing. As a grassroots entrepreneur, you're going to be strapped for cash, which means you're going to have to be smart and resourceful if you want to survive in this business world. Now, one way to, to be resourceful is to look around and see what companies are doing and build onto that. All right. So like give you an example. I anytime I'm in public, uh, I make it a habit uh, to to grab or ask someone for marketing material. I mean, I could be literally anywhere. I could be walking a trade show. I could be meeting with a company. Anytime I'm out in public, I make it a habit to to grab some type of marketing material that will help me advance my business or my company. And so. Actually, I, I made a post about this not too long ago. I met with a friend of mine who works for New York Life and uh, we, we sat down. He told me a little bit about what he was doing. And toward the end of our meeting, I asked him for this brochure. Can you guys see that? So this is the brochure that I asked him for. And I asked him for this for a reason. I asked him for this brochure for a reason. And uh, the reason I did is because New York Life. They have tons of money, right? They hired and paid a graphic designer tons of money to create this brochure. And if I'm smart and I'm resourceful enough, I can actually use this brochure as a template to make my marketing material look more professional. All right. This possibly will save me and my business hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. All right. Now, I want to make sure I'm clear about this. I'm not talking about plagiarizing them. Or anything like that. You don't plagiarize their content. That's illegal. I'm talking about using their content placement as a template to create and make my marketing material look more professional. So, like, let me give you an example. So, you see that there's a family, right, in the front of this brochure. That's exactly where I would put an image of me and my students in my program, right? And if you look below, they have this slogan or they have what, you know, I guess what the African American Community Empowerment Plan. This is where I would say ICE, inner city entrepreneur. And then I might also have a slogan here. And then you see they have a logo. This is exactly where I would put my logo. And when you open this brochure, it just lays out everything. Make sure you guys get a good um, look at this. It just lays out everything. Everything. I don't have to guess. This is a template for me to create my own marketing material. OK. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You're going to have to be uh, resourceful as a grassroots entrepreneur because you don't have a lot of money. You don't have a lot of guidance. 
and you're going to have to just look around and see what people are doing um, to create uh, marketing material uh, for your company. And this also can actually be done with a business card. I know a lot of you guys own um, you know, thousands of business cards. And if that's the case, just pull out your, your favorite business cards and take elements of those business cards to create the ultimate uh, business card that makes your business card look, you know, just amazing. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, real quick before I get out of here, parents, if you live in the Los Angeles area and you have a child between the ages of 12 and 17, they can attend my program for absolutely free. All you have to do is go to my website and register them. My website's www.mindbodyapparel.com. That's M-I-N-D, body, B-O-D-Y, apparel, A-P-P-A-R-E-L.com and register your child. I will announce my new uh, class um, in the next few months, but if I have your email, then I can kind of email you the details. And I always say this, but we are looking for parents who are heavily involved in their child's life. Um, this is not a program for you to drop your child off and for us to babysit them. Um, if you are not interested in building a community, then this is not the right program for you. Um, let's see. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. I want to leave you just real quick with a last minute thought. Guys, look, everyone is struggling to get their business going. Look around again and see what other companies are doing and build on top of that. All right. That's all I have to say for today. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.